It's that time of year. Your foot is still on the gas pedal, working to get those final opportunities over the finish line. But you're also starting to prepare and build a plan for the upcoming year. Though I'm sure I could come up with a list pages long, I put together 10 pieces of sales advice, ranging from conceptual to practical, that you can use now and as you step into 2024. Number one, commit to the process. Experts say it takes 21 times of perfect repetition to create a new habit. So when you learn a new technique or question to ask or position to take, don't just try it once and decide that it doesn't work. All great skills take practice. Don't just give up after one attempt and claim that it doesn't work. Be committed to seeing it through. Number two, use your calendar. A lot of salespeople I work with drop meetings onto their calendar, but that's about it. To utilize your time effectively and have the greatest impact, you need to block off and prioritize your day. Dedicate time to research, make prospecting outreaches, respond to emails, follow up on internal issues, etc and stick to your schedule. Don't let internal problems and current client requests that pop up throughout the day overshadow what you get paid to do, which for most of us is to hunt for new opportunities. Number three, understand your weaknesses. Do you have a need for approval or feel like you need to be liked to win the business? If so, it might keep you from pushing back or asking appropriate challenge questions of your prospect. If a prospect asks for your solution early in the discussion, do you skip past certain parts of your sales process to get to presenting your solution faster? If that's the case, you're likely encountering stalls, delays, objections, radio silence, and or think it overs at time of close. Knowing your shortcomings will help you to develop a plan to overcome them. Number four, understand your impact. When you do make prospecting calls, Hopefully, the result is getting someone on the phone. But if you do, know and be sensitive to the fact that you are causing a disruption in their day. They weren't expecting your call, and you've likely caught them in the middle of something. Recognize that. Ask them if it's a good time to talk. If they say no, respect it, but coordinate a follow-up. Don't be the salesperson that just charges forward without first understanding where the person is that's on the other line. Number five, be curious. I always tell the people that I coach, talk to your prospect like you're talking to your best friend or a family member. Have a conversation, ask questions, be inquisitive. Don't let the pressure of selling something distract you. Aim to learn to understand, not just to respond. This helps you identify if there's really an opportunity to pursue and if it's the right fit for both parties. Number six, be protective of your business. As a follow-up to be curious, you have every right to be protective of your business and who you do business with. Not every opportunity is a fit. By asking questions, drilling down, and challenging your prospects' compelling reasons, you are figuring out if it's something you should pursue. And if it's not, you've done what you need to to disqualify the opportunity and should feel confident enough to walk away. Number seven. Be okay with being uncomfortable. Be willing to try a new technique or challenge a prospect or ask an assertive question. Do something every day that takes you outside of your comfort zone. I promise you, it'll only help you grow as a professional. Number eight, don't be like everyone else. You've heard this from us a thousand times, but it's always worth repeating. Don't act or look like anyone else out there. Being different will gain you attention. Number nine, don't take it too seriously. At the end of the day, it's not brain surgery. You aren't running the country. Be human, have a conversation, ask lots of questions, be vulnerable, and have fun. Sales is too tough a job to have not have some fun with it. And finally, number 10, keep sharpening your skills. It doesn't matter if you've been at this for 30 days or 30 years. There is always room to improve and a new skill to learn. Being successful in sales relies heavily on your ability to adapt, be coachable, 
and regularly seek new information. As always, thanks for joining me today.